Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky with my pans and plans, and this time from Washington, D.C. We were here for uh, a few votes, um, and we gave a, a trial run to voting by proxy, and that seemed to work pretty well. Uh, actually, there were 70 members who were not here, um, but they got to vote. Um, and so we have a new system, and it seems to be okay. I wanted to tell you about some of the things that have been happening. Um, this week, Congressman Chuy Garcia and I introduced a bill called the COVID Justice and Accountability Act. Strong name. And th what this says is that individuals will have an opportunity if something has been done wrong to them during this COVID virus time, that they would be able to go and sue a corporation, an employer, if it was their fault. For example, if someone was forced to go to work but were not provided with the kind of protections at, on the job and therefore got sick, um, then they, could, they would have the right to sue. Um, and what the corporations are trying to do is to have a uh, a shield to protect them from all liability and we think this is not the time for that to for that to happen uh, the other thing this week is I sent a letter to Secretary of the Treasury Mnuchin and it was about how airline employees are being treated it was very clear when we gave money to the airlines which I certainly understand that they made a commitment to not reduce the wages of their, of their employees. And so what they did to get around that was to reduce hours and say, but we're paying the same rate. Now, of course, what it means to those employees is that a loss of wages, a loss of income. And we said that was not the spirit of the money that was that was given. So we'll see. We'll do a follow-up and see what happens there. Um, second, uh, thirdly, I guess, um, changes are being ha are happening in Chicago and around the state in terms of the opening up. Um, and so in the city of Chicago, the mayor, Mayor Lightfoot, has announced that Chicago will see some very limited reopening starting on Wednesday, June 3rd. You can check that out, exactly what that means, at www.chicago.gov slash coronavirus. Um, the state is taking a slightly different course, although caution all the way, um, and um, um, starting tomorrow, um, on Friday, May 29th, um, you'll see some changes there, and you ought to go to coronavirus, one word, um, uh, dot Illinois dot gov to find, find out. For example, um, I think that salons, I can't wait to get my hair cut, um, will be able to serve one person at a time. Um, so there'll be some, definitely some limitations to keep everybody safe. Um, the Trump administration, who, I mean, he is really um, on, you know, the verge of, I don't know what. He's angry, tweeting amazing things. He um, retweeted a, 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 a t something on, on Twitter that said, the only good Democrat is a dead Democrat. I'm not kidding. Um, but the other thing, he's very mad at the uh, social at social media that is critical of him, of course. Um, so he is figuring out through an executive order what kind of retribution he can place on these social media out, outlets. Now, we want these social media outlets to enforce their own community standards, uh, which includes things like not doing disinformation, not, print, not printing and, and allowing just plain old lies. Um, 
which is antithetical to what the President of the United States does every single day. So we'll see what his uh, plan, his plan really is. We voted on a couple of bills, ones that passed and one that didn't, um, to, in my view, uh, make changes, some that we needed in the payroll protection program. Um, one of it is it extended the deadline of how um, the loan and the forgivable loan would be usable by small businesses because it doesn't look like we're gonna be out of the, the woods when we thought we would be. And so that was, uh, that was extended. Another one of the um, bills that would have required reporting who got the loans um, did not pass. And I'm really disappointed in that because we know the first round of the payroll protection program went mainly to big corporations. And I think it's important to know if your taxpayer dollars are going to help small businesses, really small businesses, you want to know, don't you, who actually got the money. I'm really disappointed that that, uh, that did not pass. We may come back and, and revisit that again. Uh, we also tried to have a, a, a vote on the, uh, an act that had to do with government surveillance, the uh, Patriot Act, um, which came after 9-11 that I voted against that would have allowed for the government to have a lot of surveillance power to supposedly to fight terrorists, um, for fighting terrorists. Um, but really encroached on civil, on civil liberties. Well, we made some changes along the, along the way that, uh, that, that made it better. Um, but now, when we were going to pass a reform bill, the President of the United States decided that he didn't like that. He wants to do whatever he wants to do in order to get in your business, really. And, and so um, that bill did not have the votes. We decided to send it to a conference committee of the House and Senate um, to see if we can get some sort of compromise. It passed the um, United States Senate with all but 17 votes. In other words, the Republicans, including Mitch McConnell, were in favor of it, of it until the president started tweeting that he didn't want this kind of reform. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're still gonna continue to work on that when we get back. We're home next week, we may be back the week uh, after, um, but in any case, I'll be back next week with more pans and plans. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where my handle is at Jan Schakowsky.